guys should figure by now this is not your normal magic show. <laughs> First trick I ever saw in my life, I was walking through Central Park. There was a guy face down on the grass, drunk. He smelled, he was disgusting. He had wine bottles all over him. He sat up and said, I want to show you a rope trick. I decided at that point I wanted to make this my life. <laughs> took the rope, he put it in his hand, took a scissor and said, what you're about to see is amazing. Because I'm not really going to cut the rope. <laughs> that looked like you cut it to me. He goes, no, I didn't, because you see we have two equal pieces. I go, yet more confusing. He said, no, no, because I never really cut the rope. You see, I can stretch him, I can do whatever I want. And he took the rope and he placed it in his hand like this. He goes, I'm going to make it come back to one piece. Placed it in his hand, tapped his hand, and went, look, back to one piece. <laughs> I said, well, it's got a knot. He goes, no, it doesn't. I never really cut it. Oh. He, the crazy guy, can do magic. <laughs> so I said, look, could you do that again? He goes, I'm sorry, a magician never repeats his trick. I said, well, you're not a magician, you're a wino. <laughs> he said, okay, in that case, I'll give you an instant replay. I took the rope in my hand, and I cut it. But I didn't really cut it. Then I took the ropes like this, and I stretched them. Then I tied it in a knot, placed that in my hand, tapped it again, and there it was. And I said, well, the knot's still there. And he goes, no, this is a different kind of knot. This is a slip knot. See, it slips down like this. <laughs> and will slip completely off the end of the rope. Just like that. Here at the Magic Castle, we have some safety requirements. Most people are drinking, so you have to use these little scissors. What I need you to do is just cut this rope. I'm kidding, I'm kidding. Here, take these. All right, what you're going to do is you're going to cut this electric wire. <laughs> it's going to be cut. No, no, no. No. Oh, I can't believe you did that. <laughs> How did you get those to cut? <laughs> That's in the show thanks to you. <laughs> Got your short circuit. Shorter. I want you to realize just wet your finger. <laughs> I do it, but I don't want to die. Everybody <laughs> left! Okay, Mr. Magic. <laughs> That you wanted here it is. Watch. Ooh. Oh. Don't be impressed. It's something you couldn't do for $29.95. <laughs> oh, jeez. <laughs> oh, yeah, that you laugh at. <laughs> you only knew what this smelled like, I guarantee you wouldn't be laughing. <laughs> Shut up, it fooled you the first time. <laughs> All right, here's how you do this. You go to the store, you buy two handkerchiefs. Make sure they are the same color. <laughs> the doobly goes into your pocket. Then you go to a craft store, you buy a plastic egg, cut a hole there about the size of a quarter, and you place the other handkerchief inside. You do not do this in front of the person you're gonna show the trick to. <laughs> Okay, so that's it. It's like an egg with a little tail that goes under your thumb, tail goes in your hand, hand goes in the pocket. Then you wander around saying, who wants to see a magic trick? Because generally people don't come up to you and go, I have no idea who you are if you do anything with an egg. You transfer the egg, you pull out the handkerchief, then you do this. The reason why you're doing this is really important. You do this over here, because that keeps everybody's eyes off the deformed hand. 
<laughs> now you take the handkerchief and it looks like you're placing it into your hand. You push it there once, twice, three times, four times, five times, a bunch of times. Just keep pushing it down there. But we know it's not really going into the hand now. Where's it going? Egg. Into the egg. Make sure the hole on the egg is up. It's easier. <laughs> All right. You come back into the pocket. Take out the handkerchief. Then you show the egg. Simple. Always make sure you cover this. <laughs> Otherwise, someone in the audience, without doubt, always goes, hey, what's with the red thing? Somebody yell, I'll show you what to do. <laughs> it's nothing. <laughs> so I do, it may not work for you. But you gotta do that point, you gotta take the red spot, you have to peel it off the egg like that. Then you have to reach out and take out a glass. <laughs>